normally I keep my bike clean by just doing a simple spot cleaning using like uh, water down Windex and a microfiber towel. But when it gets really dirty, like it did going up the dirt roads during mission number 004, there's just too much dirt everywhere on the bike. The wheels are covered, the motor's covered. There's dirt in too many nooks and crannies that I can't get to without going to the pressure washer. So today, that's where we're going, to the pressure washer. Make sure you take out your key. So step number one, I just uh, get the bike wet so I can spray it down with, so I can spray it down with the uh, simple green. And then I just hit the, I just hit the spots where it gets most grime. Down low, around the motor too grimy down here especially mostly mostly the wheels we get all that brake dust a little bit down here a little bit on the chain underneath the back fender swing arm, swing arm. They probably make some uh, certain chemicals you can spray on your wheels to get the brake dust off better, but I don't think you need to waste your money. All right. And then let's go ahead and put this on the soap setting. Make sure you get the wheels real good, because that obviously gets the dirtiest. If you got a GoPro mount on your bike, make sure you take it out of its case. It's just, even if it's a waterproof case, it's just a good idea. All right, that's good for soap. Let's come over here and rinse. Remember, it takes a minute for the soap to clear the hose. Just spray it somewhere like on your tank, you'll see the soap clear. Good to go. So it's a pretty short process. Oh yeah, make sure you get down in the triple clamps too. Down inside there, in the steering head area. All right, that's it. Make sure you use a real chamois. Don't waste your money on one of those synthetic artificial chamois. I bought one last week because I couldn't find this one. And uh, I got here to wash my bike and this thing was, it was just crap. It wouldn't really hardly absorb the water. It left streaks everywhere. Never really did a good job. One thing I don't do is I do not chamois off my wheels because they're still great grime on them and it'll just get the chamois all dirty. So the next thing I do is I grab my WD-40 and one of these little pads and I just spray a little bit on one side. And uh, there's some water puddles in the wheels so let's, I'll just dry those without getting the chamois dirty. The water will just get spread around and make things difficult. So just kind of absorb that.
and you just come along, wipe your wheels. You can see a little bit of grunge, but not a whole lot. But this just gives the wheels that extra sheen, make them look good. Because no matter how much you pressure wash this thing, the wheels are still gonna look kind of crappy. So I just wipe the wheels with that. Look at that, there's quite a bit of dirt left on there. Spray a little more derby on there. If it starts to dry up, just spray a little more on. Come back and hit it. And uh, roll the bike a little bit so you can get the rest of the wheels. So that's how much of dirt was left on the wheels. So what I do then with my kind of dirty microfiber cloths, I come back and I hit the wheels again just to get that extra WD-40 off so they're not too shiny and don't pick up as much dirt. So another thing I like to do is take a, another pad that's clean and I'll spray it with WD-40 and I'll do it uh, the rest of the bike just like motor parts, the black frame, you could see an immediate you know, shininess to it. I learned all this from uh, riding dirt bikes all those years, trying to make the bike look good. WD was like the number one thing I used to make the bike shine again. I even hit the swing arm with it. Anything that's black. You know, you can hit it with it, except for paint. Don't use it on paint. Even your mirrors, see the difference? Another thing I do is I make sure I spray a little bit of WD-40 down in the keyhole. Just the key to kind of open it. Just get a few squirts. That's why I took the key out to keep water from getting in there. I see a couple spots I missed with the chamois. So I just come back, hit that again. Then uh, come back with that clean microfiber towel. And you can hit the areas that you just WD-40 that aren't the wheels. And it just gives it a better finish. It takes that sheen off of there. And like I said, it'll attract less dirt that way. All right, that's it for here.